Joining us right now is Jim Wiesmeyer. He is DC Policy Analyst for Pro Farmer. Hey, Jim, great to see you again. Always good to be with you, Sean. Yeah, it's fantastic. Okay, Jim, uh, give us an update. A pretty significant week last week. Uh, the House Ag Committee really, I, I guess, uh, providing some progress when it comes uh, to the Farm Bill. Yes, and uh, with four Democrats on the Ag panel voting for it. Now, you saw before that vote, you had a lot of people saying there would not be there wouldn't be any Democrats vote for it, including former House Ag Committee Chairman Colin Peterson. Well, they were just simply wrong, but that's not going to get it over the line. I think what the naysayers are not seeing now, Sean, is that it looks like the House floor, if they take it up, which they want to, won't happen until September. Now that gives G.T. Thompson, the Republican from Pennsylvania, who is the House Ag Chairman, he and his staff, it gives them time to work out some more compromises with wary Democrats. And uh, G.T. has already said he could modify some language, not Title I. He doesn't want to touch the improvements in Title I. So there is still a possibility that they can garner some more uh, Democratic votes once it gets to the floor. Now, what is the next step in this process? He he has to it'll, it'll basically it'll go to the entire House for for votes. Well, yes. First, he's got to get the OK from the Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, Republican from Louisiana. And once he gets the OK for floor consideration, then you have to go to the Rules Committee. And that's another possible hurdle because there are uh, several uh, what we call rebel Republicans who have who have uh, crossed uh, uh, the line and not allowing a, a vote to occur on the House floor. So we're going to have to watch that. And uh, of course, the House Rules Committee determines uh, how many amendments and what type of amendments are allowed on the House floor for consideration. So we have some additional uh, uh, hurdles ahead. For any of the fiscal hawks in the crowd, are they not going to have some sort of problem with the increase to farm subsidies under this version? Well, it could be. The 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 10-year the cost is $1.51 trillion. Now, that's called a budget-neutral bill, by the way, the 940-page bill. Uh, but, yeah, there could be some of those rebel Republicans who uh, – uh, cite some cost factors. And, you know, I, I, again, that's a potential red flag. But going into November 5th elections will also uh, signal that uh, the Republicans want to show that they can get some things done. So that could counterbalance that, Sean, and uh, we, we could still get a rule on that. When do we hear from the Senate? That's an interesting question. Uh, some people say that uh, Senate outgoing Senate Ag Committee Chairwoman Debbie Stabenow, Democrat from Michigan, she's not seeking re-election. <clears throat> some say that she doesn't want to submit actual text of a bill. She's she's already released multiple pages of an outline, but that's not the same thing as a bill. Now, if it goes to the House floor, she's going to have to release some text. That's going to be interesting because we're going to see where the money flows in the Senate bill, and it's expected to uh, pump billions more dollars into the food and nutrition title, and it'll show that the Title I program is not nearly as farmer-friendly as the uh, 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 House Ag Committee passed uh, uh, a farm bill. I know it's kind of party-dependent, but are, are typically are the House bill and the Senate bill miles apart? Is that is that typical? No, not in the farm bill. Uh, but in this case, they they are. There's you know the traditional uh, ideologues in both parties. By the way, uh, mm -hmm. the 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 Republicans want to just uh, uh, really modify the food stamp program and the thrifty food program, where they don't want the ag secretary to have the ability to increase the funding by 256 billion dollars like he did a few years ago Sean that they they want to put some guardrails on that and the uh the, uh the the Democrats don't want any changes to food stamps uh uh or the thrifty food program and conservation you'll recall that in the uh inflation reduction act which we call the uh climate bill here uh, Stabenow got $20 billion of additional funding for conservation. That's already in. 
So she's already got a food stamp program on fifth gear in funding uh, through annual appropriations. She's already got $20 billion more for conservation. So some people say, where, where's the impetus for her to, to uh, actually push a bill? How about the use of the, the Commodity Credit Corporation, the CCC? Is, is that being factored into this at all, or, or I guess the limiting of its use? Yes, at least Ag Secretary Vilsack has entered the political ring. ring. Usually USDA uh, uh, advises Congress on technicalities of farm bill proposals. They talk about implementing some of the language in the bill, but uh, current Ag Secretary Tom Vilsack has taken a uh, an overt role in this one and chastising uh, the Republicans for trying to uh, rein him in or the Ag Secretary's ability to tap the uh, CCC. He's got a point in that you want to have some flexibility if we have a major uh, weather-related uh, problem uh, in, in the coming year because it takes Congress a year, sometimes two years, to come up with ad hoc disaster programs. And he can tap the CCC for farmer uh, uh, income support. However, on the Republican side, they think that the Congress uh, has lost uh, control of the CCC and uh, they want to pull in the reins on that. Again, putting some guardrails on the secretary. And I think that they can probably reach a compromise to satisfy both parties in the intervening months here. 18 Farm Bill already extended once. When is that deadline for the possible second extension of it? And does this all get completed before the end of the 2024 calendar year? Well, there's uh, several things there. I think you will have to see another extension because with the with Congress working on fiscal year 2025 uh, uh, spending bill, appropriation bills, what the year started last October, and they're just really starting right now. You're, and that's why the farm bill in the House won't be brought up until September. And that's assuming the House will have completed all those 12 bills. Now, that's unlikely. So we'll probably see an extension, and that'll lessen the pressure, although you're not going to see that extension until the 11th hour, Sean, because that will take pressure uh, off Congress to actually ink a new bill. Now, another uh, you know, possibility is that don't rule out lawmakers after November 5th elections. They could come back because they're lame duck Congress then and consider a farm bill then. Uh, so uh, again, that's happened in the past on major legislation. So I wouldn't rule anything out too soon. That the, the death knell being written on this bill, I think, is way, way premature. <laughs>